Back in 1976, they were looking for a tennis coach and I had played tennis in high school and so um, I took the job. I love playing and um, it's nice to be able to do something that you're passionate about. Uh, that's why I'm still coaching after all these years, um, even though I'm retired. He and I know each other since the mid 70s because when I was coaching for Maine South, he was coaching Glenbrook and we played each other every year. And when I went to Lake Park, I always invited him out there. And so he said, hey, we got an opening. Are you interested after I retired? And I said, oh man, it's gonna be a match made in heaven. I'd be delighted. So that's how it happened about 16 years ago. And I like to be a positive influence on, on, the, on the players. Uh, tennis, tennis is a sport, because it's an individual sport, uh, it brings out the best and the worst of people. And it, it has a lot to do with your character. And uh, I think coaching tennis allows me, and playing tennis allows me to uh, be able to coach more than just tennis. You know, good character, being fair and honest, hard work, a whole bunch of things that make, that make uh, what you have to do in your life, it's not just tennis. Learning how to be competitive and, and enjoying the competition is great, but uh, above all, um, you know, you want, you want players to enjoy a team and, and the feeling of being on a team and you want them to come away with the, knowing what sportsmanship is about. That's, that's key for me. A, a memorable match in 1978, which um, a player named Eric Corita played in the uh, state tournament. Uh, Eric um, eventually went on to play in the U.S. Open um, and made it to the uh, quarterfinals and lost to Yannick Noah in five sets. So he was one of the better players in the history of Glenbrook South. Michael Moore was a uh, ball player for Glenbrook South. In his most memorable match was in the state tournament final against his friend. He was winning the match and he hit a beautiful shot. I was on the court with him coaching, like sitting on a bench right here next to the court. He hit a beautiful shot for a winner. The linesman said, good. The chair umpire overruled him. And it was a point that got into his head because this, he was on the verge of winning the match. And from then on, he just lost his concentration. So, but Michael Moore was a totally unbelievable player. He started as a singles player for us um, four, four years. Went on to play uh, for Notre Dame. During the match, what you do is keep them positive, give them some tips about how they might play their opponent better. Uh, in general though, uh, keep them positive and, and keep them thinking about playing the best they can on every point. You're trying to um, analyze what's going on in the match, uh, whether uh, it's our mistakes or the other player is, you know, uh, doing something that uh, we need to respond to. Um, so you analyze what's going on, and then depending on what's going on with the player, I mean, it could be attitude, it could be a sense of frustration, it could be tactics. Uh, there's a lot of different things that um, players need to, to think about. Um, Certainly, uh, <clears throat> you hope they have a strategy going in, and if it's not working, maybe adjust it to something that uh, would do a little bit better for that particular uh, player they're playing against. It's not always the best player that makes your season. Sometimes it's um, somebody that um, isn't even a starter, um, that, you know, really, uh, blossoms in terms of their play or in terms of uh, their understanding of the game. So you never over try to overlook any player on the team um, because it's each individual player's experience that you have a chance to touch and you want to be able to make them come away with a great experience over their time with you.